should be live now. My mic should be working. Don't need the light. Uh, right. Luckily, I don't even have to install. This could be loud. Sorry, hold on. It's a bit loud. It's a bit loud for me anyway. Okay. What did I just close? I think I just closed the audio. <coughs> She knows where you live. For goodness sake, get out of there! I don't know what the meaning behind that joke is. Is, is it a joke? Is it actually something real? I don't know. So, we're gonna watch the intro a bit. <coughs> I don't think I've ever seen the intro. I've always just... Well, I, maybe I have at least once, but I've always like skipped ahead. Oh, there's lyrics. I think I I spoiled myself on the lyrics uh, when I was booting up this game. I can't believe that I played this game before knowing who French Bread was. It's kind of insane to me. I I, I just have I just coincidentally like have played all these old Dojin on. Old Japanese companies that I like the games of, but never figured out what the company was. I am a little sick. Uh, allergies, I think, because my runny nose is like very watery mucus. So it should be fine, but it's a bit annoying. There's a really cool. Uh, there's a really cool. Um, combo music video that I remember liking back in the day that involved uh, combos from this game but I don't know if I'll be able to find it maybe if you just look up Ragnarok Battle Online Ragnarok Battle Offline um, combo video then you might find it but so this game is a Japanese doujin from 2004 so you can see it there and uh, Japanese doujins at around this time very much lacked controller support. So I'll be playing this with a keyboard, as is intended, I guess. Um, utility, what's this? Oh, should I read this? Oh. I have a feeling this is like developer commentary. I have a strong feeling that's just developer commentary. Okay, let's just, let's just play the game. How many are playing? Press and hold. Boom. Only one player is playing. We're gonna pick slot one and we're gonna play... We're gonna be like the most generic swordsman ever. Uh, let's be... Let's be the female knight. And then we'll be... Stu. End. And oh yeah, that's right. You can increase your stats. Like, th and increasing your stats works almost like uh, the Ragnarok Online game, where you have like a bunch of points, and then the more you increase certain points, the more it costs to upgrade it. So we're gonna go a bit of agility, and go a bit of a bit more vitality because we're gonna get hit a lot. No intelligence. We don't need intelligence. I think Dex is like attack speed in Ragnarok Online, but I don't know if that's important. No explanation of what these stats do, so that's great. Uh, we're gonna go Sword Massey, we're gonna go Provoke. Uh, should we go Provoke? I don't know if we should. Nah. Let's go Orin and Sword Mastery. So, what now? Head out into the world. I guess not all of the text is uh, translated. I mean, 
it was clear from the it was clear from the um developer commentary section that it's not fully translated but that's fine so we're gonna go to stage one we're not gonna try the ex stages i don't i don't know if he will oh man this game man it's been a while so z is attack you can crouch you can jump you can do a jump attack you press x you do a oh look at that you do a medium attack and then you can hold forward to do this swiping attack Oh, hello! Welcome to the stream, Sadistic Elf. What the hell is this? Well, it's an old Japanese doujin from 2004 called Ragnarok Battle Offline. Not made by the original devs of Ragnarok Online. Um, this is instead made by a company called French Bread, who is much more known for making multi-blood type Lumina, Undernight Inbirth, uh, those, those fighting games. But... Before they made those fighting games, I guess they made games like this, where this is like very much a. Uh, it's not a fighting game. It's a beat em up. Uh, it's it's a beat em up that's very combo heavy, I think. So you can block. Uh, v doesn't do, seem to do anything. So you can dash. You can do a dash attack. Ooh. There you go. French bread came a long way. Yeah, they really did. Oh, I got hit by a slime. Oh, and then you can do combos like that. And then I think you have an auto combo on your regular Z. Wait. Oh, yeah, there you go. So I was wondering why my second hit got cancelled like that. But what you do is you do that. You press Z twice and then you delay it to let the two hits hit and then you attack again to cancel. So yeah, uh, with a game like this, like there's still a lot of uh, like French Bread is known for making fighting games that like uh, have a lot of cancel opportunities, I guess to put it mildly. Here it's the same way. So you notice how I did like my heavy attack and like uh, on hit my heavy attack hit i was able to cancel into my light attack so it's already very french bread design even back then so i'm gonna boop and then i did my light and then i think you can do in the middle of an attack you can do an up attack i don't know if that's true actually i don't know if you can jump cancel either i think some characters have jump cancels as well I'm playing as like a swordsman who's like, you know, I guess traditionally swordsmen wouldn't be that kind of combo heavy character. And there's, the, yeah, there's other characters you can play as well, each of them with a different gender and I think the genders do different stuff as well. You look at that combo, I'm doing my he light heavy light heavy. Look, look at this crazy stuff that I'm already doing. And then later on, you get to unlock special skills and abilities, I think, that allow you to do, like, you know, just different different skills that are just not your attack. What the? Oh, I'm stunned! Boom, 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 boom. Oh, look at all this combo business! Oh no, uh oh. I think every character might have a different guard button as well. I'm not sure. Yeah, you don't have a dash attack, it seems like. Maybe you have to unlock that. <coughs> and yeah, I'm playing this on the keyboard because Japanese doujins. Early Japanese doujins did not have controller support. Oh! Uh, you can't cancel into block, it seems like. I'm trying to figure out the combo system. Oh! 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 No! I died! That sucked. Yeah, you do not have um, abilities yet. 
that was intense. This is like stage one, by the way, so I've already used up a continue. Defeat porting. Oh, what? Oh, come on. I have to dodge the guy first. Okay, block. Oh, okay, blocking doesn't work. Oh, come on. I can't defeat the ponies like this. I'm getting comboed. Oh my god, I'm getting comboed. Oh, you can double jump. I did not know you could double jump, actually. Oh my god, that was loud. Ooh. I love audio stacking like that. Very, very 2004. <laughs> oh god. Oh, I died. Oh no, I'm not dead. I don't know if there's any way to fix that. Whew. I report you why did you kill them. Oh, whoa. Is that supposed to be like player text? Like from the online game? <laughs> I wonder if you can combo the... It seems like you can't really combo heavies into each other. I have a crouching attack for some reason. Oh! Even dojin games have come a long way? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> they now have controller support, believe it or not. Oh, that combo. Oh! Oh, you can jump cancel. It's just really delayed. Oh, there you go. See? That's awesome. Yeah. Kind of insanely robust combo system here. Giant snail. Boss character is approaching fast. Shoot it in the head? Why do you say shoot it in the head? Oh! That just did 500 damage to me. Oh, you can cancel heavies into each other. Oh. Okay. So, blocking doesn't always work. Give me that. I wonder if you can air dash. Oh, the, these enemies? I remember these enemies. Like these, uh... These things were like really tough. Ah, uh, it's so hard to... There you go, yeah. They, these guys were like really tough. And then once you destroy the pot, they, these guys spawn and then they do a lot of damage to you. Because uh, they show up in like... Uh, in early game areas. Ah. These guys show up in early game areas and they're really high level for those areas. Oh. Game over. So, not easy. Yeah, so not everything is translated, huh? Oh, it's hot. I'm going to turn on the fan. Tell me if the fan is hearable. Stat distribution. Okay, we're going to... Wait, how do you get out of here? Yes. Do I want to swap characters now? Um... Yeah. We're gonna go with... Oh, we can do slot 2. We're gonna go with the... I think the... Let's go with the male acolyte. CQC. I don't know why I named him that. Oh. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I, that doesn't make any sense for sure. 
Where's the, uh... Where's the end thing? Oh, there. Oh, you can have heals, you can have teleport. I wanna play around with teleports. I'm gonna make this the tankiest a wait, not the tankiest, the strongest acolyte ever. There's some vet as well. Some agility, which I, I think agility affects your movement speed. Can hear the fan, we're good. Okay, good. I don't have to like burn in my room. Okay. So we're gonna get teleport. We're gonna get some heal. Oh, these skills. Okay. Yeah, get heal. Oh, get Numa. You did CQC because I'm a Metal Gear fan? Funny you should say that because I don't think I've played a, a single Metal Gear game except for Revengeance. Which, I don't know if that really counts. Oh, I guess what also counts is like the one... The 10 minutes I played of Metal Gear 1. Metal Gear Solid 1. On the PlayStation 1. I played that a little bit. Oh, look at that. What is that? I'm like mashing all the buttons, but I don't know what that does. I think that just heals. I think there's a move this as well. Uh... Oh, I pressed escape. You know what happens when you play a Japanese doujin and you press escape? You completely quit the game. I, I totally forgot that happens. I think there's a move this around here somewhere. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, there's, it's in Japanese. There's a manual. Uh, oh, there is a move list, but and it's like you can understand it. Good. Uh, I'll just show you briefly what it looks like. Ugh, excuse me. Right here. The move list. And look at that, even like quarter circle forwards, dashes. Like, this is a whole fighting game. But it's in a beat em up format. Okay, go back to the Acolyte. <coughs> Escape being equipped by button, yeah. Those were the days. <laughs> that happened to... That's, that's like in old Toho games and a bunch of other dojins that I played back in the day. Okay, I wonder if I have these moves by default, or... Oh, there you go, Numa. That's something. Oh, look at that teleport. I'm not sure what the point of that is. Oh! I think you can combo into it at least. I like that! <laughs> there you go! Look at these pourings just doing one damage to this high level character. What's the point of this? Hmm. I wonder if this is like a charge thing. No. I can't figure out what that is. Maybe it's like a buff? I don't think- it oh yeah there is a way to- there is a menu button at least. Okay. I'm not sure if I enjoy the Acolyte too much. So what I'm going to do... I want to play through a lot of the game and not just play through stage one. So I want to focus on the Swordsman. But eventually I'll try out the other characters. Uh, load. Unfortunately, the way the game is set up, it means that you have to... Um... Oh wait, hold on. New game. You have to like build up your characters and build up your move list and stats. It's not easy to just like swap between characters. In fact, let's not do the female swordsman. Let's do female thief. A, B, C. 
Okay, we're gonna do strength. We're gonna do agility. I'm gonna do a bit of dex, because I think we're a dex guy. Uh, we're gonna do a bit of luck, because we're gonna go for crits, I guess. I don't know if we are. Get a bit of strength and some vitality. I don't know what any of that means, by the way. Oh, we gotta improve dodge. Let's get end venom. I'm not sure if I want detoxify, so we'll just leave it like that. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, I'm a. I'm sick, but it's, it's like a. It's an annoying kind of sick, like allergy sick. And it's kind of annoying. I had to, like, duck out of locals earlier because of that. I'm so fast, though. Look at that. Whoa! The stab. Oh, kick. A bookie kick. And you can even combo after that. I'm so fast. Some of these anima idle animations are hilarious. Yeah. I think the animation is really charming. Uh... In, in general from French bread games. Hope it's just minor, the allergies. Yeah, yeah, I think it's minor. It's it's just annoying that my mucus is very watery. That's about... That's all that is. Do I have an attack there? No. 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 Uh, hold D. I'm trying to figure out my own command lists. Oh! What the heck was that? That's cool. Oh, I got anti-ed by a rabbit. Oh, that's cool. And Venom? How do I do that? I guess I gotta hit somebody with that. There's a there's really good uh, cool uh, combo videos of this game, and they do some pretty insane stuff. Ah, uh, you have to hit somebody with that. What's a sand attack? Oh, that kick. Uh, oh, sand attack is that one. Okay. You're so fast. Oh! And Venom. Oh, the combos! Oh, I must send attack. Oh, what? How did I do that? Oh my god, I got anti-head. Oh. Uh, so you have multiple jumps with this character, it seems like. And then you, I think you can cancel your jump attacks with uh, jumps as well. So you can like air combo endlessly if you wanted to. I'm still trying to figure it out. I think after Envenom you could... Oh, I'm using up SP. I have to be careful. Oh! Okay, everyone has a block button. Oh, you can cancel your... Your normals into specials if you're at, as long as you're in like the right state. Yeah, three fists is a lot of fun so far. It's uh, very complicated though. Okay, watch out for this guy. This guy's serious. Ah, oh, I missed. Ah. Oh, he's gonna attack! Oh! Oh my god, my. My block doesn't do anything. I wonder if there's like a roll. I don't know if there is. Oh, get out of there! You do so much damage if you use that uh, stat neutral heavy attack. Or neutral B as French bread would say. Defeat pouring. 
Oh god, that's loud. That's loud. Oh. How do you do that, uh, grapple hook thing? Oh, do you just hold it? No, I don't, I don't know how that's determined. I guess there's a cooldown. That's the only explanation. Ah. Uh. Oh! Oh, come on. Don't hit me. <coughs> the text box of... Like, his dialogue of him trying to report me is very, uh... Like, that brought back some memories. Oh! Uh. What's your down heavy? Oh, your down heavy is a slide. Oh, come on! have a lot of air mo mobility with the uh, thief it seems like we just have to get used to all the moves ah oh what is that attack i guess that's just some sort of auto combo oh you have a dash attack on dash a <coughs> oh that was bad I'm just going to take this as slow as possible. Oh. <laughs> Man, my movement speed is crazy. Give me that. Yeah. I feel like I'm supposed to be doing speed runs with this character. What? Ah. Oh. Oh, get out of there. How do you do that? I'm not sure how I do the grapple hook sometimes. I, is it, I thought it was just like another jump input, but it's not really... Oh, this... I just realized this moth is so low that I, would, I wasn't able to like jump and attack it. I had to like attack it from the ground. Game's a little quiet. I would bump it up. I guess it's a little quiet because of the fan I'm hearing, though. Oh! Oh! Oh, I keep missing. There you go. Man, I don't like the sand attack. It's way too slow. Oh, it's double dash. It's it's dash in the air. That's what's getting it. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> ah. There you go. Oh no, I was I was bad. Oh. Oh, oh no, really? This game's hard. If I un if I am unable to level up, then I probably will switch back to swordsman maybe. But this time with the male swordsman. I think the male swordsman has a different uh, 
sorry I'm bad at this game. That I can't demonstrate everything that's cool about it. But yeah, not easy. To Raiden, even though that makes no sense. Max agility, uh, max strength, sorry. Yeah, 20. That's not max, but you, you get the point. That. Yeah, I like having some vitality. Then we'll get Vogue. Uh. And. This. Yeah, one one skill in provoke. I don't know if provoke will do anything. I don't I don't remember what it does. Okay, this time I wanna I wanna be able to beat it. Beat the stage. Stage is really long too. And of course this is multiplayer as Oh different attacks. That's my forward attack now. And this is my Crouching heavy, and that's my st standard heavy, and that's my uh, jumping heavy. Yeah, very different moveset. And uh, now to figure out his moves. In fact, I can just find the move list. I don't know if that does anything. Oh, might be just a counter. Hmm. I. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. I know I'm like changing my mind. I'm very indecisive to this with this kind of game. But if I wanna, I wanna have a character I really like playing. Let's do... Should I do merchant? Let's try a merchant around. This time around. <laughs> Excuse me. Weight limit? Crazy uproar? He's got a giant hammer. Let's go by the looks, I guess. Oh, this, this girl has an axe. She's crazy. I want to do... Maybe this would be interesting. She it seems like she has a lot of moves, which I would like to have. Mm. No, you know what? Let's, let's stick with Big Hammer Guy. Let's call the Big Hammer Guy Axe. Okay. Some agility for speed, and then the rest in strength. Mammonite. I don't know what increased rate limit does in this case. Oh, I think I do know, but I, I think this the merchant class has like a gill mechanic, where every enemy drops money, and you can use that money maybe. I just remember when you whenever you play this class, there's a lot of uh, stuff that drops because you can't buy items and equipment and all that. Okay, hammer, big hammer, in up attack, that's cool. Oh, oh my god, that's loud. That's real loud. I mean, I like his hammer attack. Unfortunately, I'm out of money. Yeah, this guy does have a money mechanic. I just gotta figure it out. Oh, counter? That's nice. Uh. Um. Do I wanna play this guy? I'm sorry, I'm like. Again. I'm like. I'm so indecisive. Because a lot, of, all of these characters have like unique moves, and uh, there's like, there's a lot you can do. I think I'll go female magician maybe. 
โอนแมวไม่ถึงแมวโอ้โห high intelligence because I pen that's I think that's what we want as a magician high agility bit of wit a survivability yeah do that um then we'll do this this because I want to be able to use at least one of the moves a lot. According to the move list, these magician classes have a lot of moves to learn, so that might be what I want to use. Because I don't want something that's like really simple, like the swordsman. But I don't want something that's might be a bit co more complicated, like the uh, merchant. Look at that knife. I'm just figuring out the moves. Oh, look at that! Napalm beat. Oh, you input a command? I don't know. What is this hop dash? That's crazy. And you can do attacks while you're in the dash? Okay, I, I think I like this guy a lot. Can you like dash cancel your moves? Ah, uh, doesn't seem like you can. Oh, you have an air dash as well? Oh, look at that instant air dash. Oh my god, there's so much in- there's so much here I like already. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on, hit him! Okay. So I don't know if I have... Oh, that, that does that. It, that's very unimpressive, but I guess it's fine. Oh, there's one more. It's like I really am playing an anime fighter. Oh, it's hold. That's crazy. This, is, this guy has an air dash. Can you use a uh, magic abilities in the air? No, you can't. I wonder if you can cancel your light attacks into a jump cancel. I'm trying to figure out this guy's jump cancels. Because it seems like that can be crazy. Alright, uh, I get it. Oh! Oh, that looks like a jump cancel opportunity. No, it doesn't. It is not jump cancelable. Oh, there's combos there. Yeah, I'm trying to figure stuff out. Okay, I'm liking this guy a lot so far. I just like his air dash. Why does he have an air dash? I just gotta figure out if he can... Oh, he can air dash after his lights. Just have to not have user already. Gotta figure out this guy's cancel routes. I don't think getting SP recovery was a good idea. Maybe as like a combo potential. Ah, oh, I wasn't facing him, so I didn't get him. I feel like there's something missing. Like there should have been a sprite to indicate that I'm shooting something out, but it seems like it's missing. I wonder if you can get multiple air dashes. That'd be crazy.
Ah. Oh, no, get out of there, no! Oh, that was a mistake. Oh, yeah, it's taking me much longer to beat this guy because I don't think I got the right skills. And I'm pressing all the wrong buttons as well. Oh my god, he was attacking then? I want to see if I have any abilities. No. no. Man, that was tough. <coughs> I wonder if this game's on like a higher difficulty setting uh, for some reason. Oh, what the heck? That was a s really low... Really. Sick. I mean, I love this air dash a lot. Oh no, I should have air dashed. Are you kidding me? Give me some invuln frames. Oh, look at that hit stop. The way to make a game really satisfying is to add a lot of hit stop. <laughs> With within reason, of course. There's, I, I know there's like a fighting game that's sort of out right now that has way too much hit stop. I think it's like an indie fight as well. Oh, man. Are you serious? Are you actually serious with that? them so I have to make sure to not die oh I wonder if this is a reference to and to like certain people in the MMO actually trying to like bait enemies around like crazy and then <laughs> some guy will just like kill them for you I think I don't know if it's like an optimal uh, XP farming strat it might have been actually because there were AoE abilities in the game so it might have been quote unquote optimal. I could have sworn there was a way to respect your abilities as well. There you go. Oh! I don't have any special abilities. Just an air dash. I assume the magician is like very late game, uh, very much a late game based uh, character. What? There you go. This is a lot easier with this character than the other characters. Nice. This guy have to be careful. <laughs> of course you can just mash your light attack and still do a lot of damage as long as they're not doing anything I guess oh this is hard to it's hard to get him ah 
No. Oh, uh, no, I'm... Oh, this guy is, like, in the ground now. No! Oh, he... Ah. Yeah, this is a lot tougher with the magician. Oh, my God. That was bad. I still haven't been able to beat this boss. Stage one, by the way. I think I'll just mash all the lights. I won't worry about trying to do combos. I'm, I'm just gonna mash. Oh, run. Oh my god, I didn't... Hmm. Man, this game's hard. Um, okay. Maybe I should really just stick to a character I like. Maybe the magician's good. It's just that I don't know how to use him. But for an easy time at the beginning, I think I should pick the merchant. Yeah. I could have sworn you were able to respec, but I guess not. Oh well. Yeah, forget those EX stages. My character is not good enough for that. Okay. This is the last time I'll be switching characters, I think. Oh, you're so slow. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Oh my god, doing so much damage. So much more than the Magician. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Oh, stomp like Nagor Nagori Yuki from Strive. I think one of these moves is the... Oh, there's a DP input? I guess I don't have the move yet. So I have a counter. I have to keep that in mind. Yeah! <laughs> and you can even cancel that too. That's crazy. They allow you to do that. What? What did I just do? I drank a potion? Oh, command grab? I like I like my command grabs. Why is there a command grab in a Oh there you go, there's the AoE attack. Oh, command grab him. That doesn't seem to work. I don't know how that works. Oh, there you go. <laughs> this is cool. It's a clever way to introduce the guild mechanic. So you can see the number of coins I have at the top right. It says 10. And I... Some of my abilities will will use up that gill. So I guess that's one way of actually getting it back. Oh, come on! Ah. Uh, there you go. Oh my god, that's loud! I hate how loud that is, though. In fact... Oh god, I pressed escape. Sorry. I did say... I'm... I'm sorry that I'm changing my mind once again, but there's no way I'm going to play the game like that. With the, with the audio mixing being poor like that, so... 
I'm gonna swap. Um, should I stick with this guy? If I'm gonna stick with this guy, I want a better move. Let's go, female magician. All in intelligence and some vit, some movement speed. That's it. So napalm beat I didn't really like. Let's do lightning bolt and then fire. That should be good. I'm not gonna worry too much about SP recovery because I don't know. I don't. I don't think that's that important right now at the beginning of the game. And this girl should also have a different move set as well. Yeah, really much. It really is a different move set. I wonder why it's glowing like that. Oh, hello! Welcome to the stream so far. How are you doing? Oh, plus to check and hydrate. Yeah. Mm, let me get the move lists. So, so far, have you heard of this game by any chance? Or even have you heard of Ragnarok Online? I know that's a different question entirely, but... Okay, there's that. Huh. I can't... I don't know... Oh, there you go! Oh, you have to input your moves. Oh, there you go. Now we're getting into the magician part. Lightning bolt. Okay. And then fire bolt is... Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm steadily figuring it out. Fire bolt is that. Okay, okay. This is going to be tough to try and combo with. No, 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 no. I, I can't. This is way too hard. Maybe I should just stick with female knight after all. Let's do that. I really liked her moveset because yeah, it, it involved a launcher, so... Just all in on strength. Wait, no, let's not do that. Some agility, some vit. Okay. Uh, not... Let's not have Provoke. You're doing well waiting for my arcade stick to come in. Oh, you got an arcade stick? May I ask uh, what brand? If you're buying a particular branded one, are you, are, are you even buying like one that has a... Uh, where all the parts are disassembled and it's like a part of a kit and you have to assemble it together on your own. Is it like one of those? Ba, 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 ba. Once I get more skills, you're gonna see a lot more crazy stuff happening from these characters. I think I'll boot up. I'll try to find like a combo video that might be cool to look at, just to see how crazy this game can get in terms of uh, the combos. Because I'm not doing this game justice at all. Ragnarok Battle sounds vaguely familiar, but I've never seen it before. French Red Team is one I've heard of today. The full title is Ragnarok Battle Offline. Uh, the MMO is just called Ragnarok Online. Yeah, it's a bit weird that they decided to add the, the battle part, but yeah. You got an old console Hori Real Arcade, something I can use with my PS2. Hmm, okay. If you're okay with that, that's fine. I would have recommended you get a more modern arcade stick so that you can play on other modern consoles and even your PC um, and then buy a converter as well but that's up to you I don't know because I know with uh, PS2 PS2 or PlayStation controllers in particular are very finicky when it comes to uh, uh, compatibility with other consoles and it's very annoying 
I, I know that my Mad Cat's Street Fighter 4 stick was only compatible with a PlayStation 3 and it made for a really annoying time trying to get that working on my PC because I had to buy like a separate PCIe Express card that had four USB slots and I had to buy a specific PCIe card that has like the VIA chip as well in order to make it and it's all to make the game uh, make the arcade stick work with my PC so it was a bad experience in fact I even I still have that PCIe card right now and it's still in my computer but I'm no longer using that Mad Cat's card. Oh! Oh, look at that dash! How do you how do you do that? Oh, that's cool! Oh, come on! Yes! Yes! That's cool! Yes! Okay. So far, female swordsman is where it's at. Let me get get the move this real quick. Yeah. Okay. I plan on getting a more modern one. Should could I play more modern? I should play more modern fighters, but currently I'm only playing PS2 fighters. That's okay. That's okay. It's up. It's up to your use case after all. And if your use case doesn't call for a, a more modern RK stick, then that's fine. Oops, that was a way too early. Ah! <laughs> As if that was gonna hit. I'm doing a lot better. Okay. Uh, cover your eyes for a bit. Uh, put your eyes. I don't know what I'm saying, but this part is really loud for some reason because the uh, the sound effects stack on top of each other. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god. That's loud. Holy crap. Why did they do this? 2004 Dojin game, by the way. That would be why the audio is like that. I feel like there's some sort of... I thought there was some sort of involved, but maybe not. Oh my god, this guy can still hit me even though I destroyed all the... Man. And besides, um, even if you have uh, an old PlayStation 2 arcade stick, you can still buy a converter and then make that work for um, your PC and more modern consoles anyway. And if I recall correctly, the Hori Real Arcade sticks do have a good shell. They have like, um, the shell I'm talking about is like the case that they're in. They have a decent case, so in case you ever wanted to modify it with like a better parts um, or like a, a PCB that will be much more... Uh, that will be compatible to use with uh, PC and PlayStation 4 and all that, then it, should be, it shouldn't be too bad. Of course the other problem is because you bought a PlayStation 2 controller, the the other problem could be that uh, you won't have access to other buttons that other consoles may have. For instance, uh, I have like the Zero Ranger stick that I have as an Xbox controller, but because um, because it doesn't have a touchpad button or a touchpad functionality, um, that that button is just like, I don't have access to it. So that's that's the thing with buying old uh, sticks. I already have a PS2 USB adapter, it's finicky but it may work. And also you may be thinking like, I'm never going to use a touch pad, the touch screen. 
but a lot of uh, macros related to training mode are bounded to the touchpad. So that's why it's it's annoying sometimes that you don't you just don't have the button that other sticks easily have access to. Of course it all depends on your use case after all. Maybe you're not even gonna spend that much time in training mode, so it doesn't even matter. Okay, reached the boss, got three lives, or two according to the top right. This this should be good. I shouldn't die here. Hopefully. Oh yeah. Ah! I have to figure out the combo system a lot better. Ah! Yeah! Yes! I'm getting it! Oh, uh, can't you cancel into your dash? I guess you can't cancel into your dash attack like that. Oh! Oh my god, that did so much damage. Fighting games actually use the DS4 touchpad? Yeah, uh, for training mode macros. Generally. Because you can do something where you t you so in training mode, you know how you like usually start at the middle whenever you start training mode, you can bind the touchpad to your to reset the to reset the state back to how it was at the beginning. But the touchpad also has like three more extra buttons, sort of. Where if you touch the touchpad on the left, then you actually start at the left corner. And if you touch the touchpad on the right, then you start on the right corner. And you could see for fighting game training modes that you could see how that could be useful. Because that's like very convenient. And you don't have to like manually move the CPU to like another corner. You can just like reset it and then it's your your character and the CPU is just there. It's very quick. KRF 15 utilizes that, I think. We're not going to save a replay. Cancel, save, and move on. Yes. I think I leveled up as well. Oh, what just happened? Oh. Stat distribution. Okay. Uh, more strength. Oh my god. Bash was... Okay. Level 3 sword mastery is what I want anyway. The only game I recall playing that uses the multi-input functionality of the touchpad is Trails of Cold Steel 3. Oh, isn't that a JRPG? How would that work? <coughs> Maybe for um, easier menu scrolling or whatever. But again, this kind of feature is only useful for like training mode purposes or like... I haven't found a fighting game that actually uses the touchpads in... Uh, Oh, what? I haven't found a, uh, a fighting game that uses a touchpad in the middle of a game, so... Yeah, if you're not planning on spending that much time in training mode anyway, it doesn't matter that you're missing, like, a touchpad, but... It's very noticeable uh, when, you're, when you play a lot of fighting games. Ah! No, jump! Yeah, I'm definitely going to watch a combo video of this because I've seen some insane combos from this game. By the way, this is a boss. <laughs> there you go. I don't recall exactly. I played it for a couple of hours a while ago. Oh, okay. There you go. Oh, these guys don't get launched? Oh, there you go, they do.
Ah, no! Get out of there! What do I attack? Oh, the tail! Oh, the music's pretty rocking too. Didn't expect good music as well. I guess I should have. Considering it's French bread after all. Yeah, there you go. You really liked it, but I have so many games to play before it. Yeah, <laughs> I understand the feeling. Ah! Oh my god. Okay, that's fine. I'm having such an easier time with uh, the female swordsman compared to all the other characters that I tried out. There you go. Doesn't seem like the swordsman does that well against um, any any time she needs to fight in the air, but I guess it's fine. Okay, hit the other golem, sure. Oh! That's gonna land. Okay, I knew it. Ah! Oh, I got hit! Yes! I just barely did not get hit by that. Man, these guys have so much health. Oh. There you go. That's a combo. The first Trails game is intimidating with the entire population getting new dialogue every time anything happens. Oh yeah. I think you mentioned something like that in Grandia. Because I made the point in Grandia HD where a lot of the NPCs had like a lot of dialogue to them. Killed their baby. How do you feel about that? Ah! Come on. Oh, use your dash attack. There you go. Eventually, I will get more abilities to play around with, and I'm gonna have a lot of fun. Oh! Ah! I got hit. Oh, that's fine. Oh my god, there's no involved frames at all. Might have been nice to have. Oh! Maybe you can like... Stand up and then block and then you'd be okay? What's this Ragnarok Battle Offline game for? It's, a Je it's an old Japanese PC doujin. Made in 2004. So... I got a copy of it via uh, Google Drive uh, link that somebody posted in Reddit. Uh, I don't think it's available anywhere officially. I mean, maybe French Bread has like physical copies of it in Japan or maybe in Play Asia, but it'll be. I think it'll be very difficult to find and it will cost a lot of money as well if you're looking to buy it physically. I'm not sure if that's true though, but I haven't done the research there, but it's a very old doujin, so... And very old meaning 2004. I, I guess... I guess uh, the mid-2000s doesn't really classify as like very old. Oh man, that sucked. Oh. 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 
Oh, kill them! Yeah! Give me your money. Oh, not money, I mean your, your health. Guess there's no health. Oh, I remember the ant lions in uh, Ragnarok Online. I think this may be the last, the final boss in uh, this stage. I hope so. Oh, okay. I wonder if there's a way to dodge or that I'm not knowing about. Oh! I wonder if you can... You can't cancel into block, really. Ah. Oh! Okay, I blocked it. That was cool. Oh! Okay, that did not do as much damage as I thought. I wanted to move out of the way. There you go. Oh, that was not the final boss. Yeah, the stages are long here. Oh, give me that health. Oh, look at these guys. So Ragnarok Online is an MMO and the backgrounds are making fun of the fact of uh, funding, making fun of bots in the MMO. Cause yeah, you do see this sort of thing where they like spawn kill these enemies just for loot. And then there's just be some guy sitting down just like that. That's really cool attention to detail there. Is it a bot? Wrong. I am not a bot. This is really cool. And Ragnarok Online is a Korean MMO too, so that's kind of impressive I, that, I don't know, I feel like would Korean MMOs be popular in Japan? I guess they would be. Yeah, I guess they would be actually, yeah. Oh, that's loud. Break? Okay, I can do that. Ah! Oh, what the? Oh, block. Oh, man, that attack. Yes. Oh, oh what? What am I? Uh, okay. Oh, I remember these enemies. I think these guys were very tough as well. Oh, damn. That's a really cool looking attack. Oh! Oh, you can't block that. Oh! No, get out of there! Oh! Get out of there! Okay, that was a lot of damage. Oh, come on. There's no way for me to react to that. Oh! Ah. Yes! I think it's cool that I get to see another French Red game, given that I just learned about them, as in they, they exist in the first place. Yeah, French Red's a pretty high quality company when it comes to their games. Yay, level up. Uh, they mainly make fighting games nowadays, but uh, yeah, they, they have, they've developed a bunch of games that are... <laughs> they're, they're pretty, they're a surprisingly old company, because this, this came out in 2004. So they've been around for quite a long time. 
And they're still around too, thanks to thanks to multi blood type Lumina. I didn't know them from multi blood. Yeah, yeah. Let's get more vit. And yeah, that's fine. One bash. Should I improve bash more? Let's get more sword mastery. Because I want to see more skills, and I think getting more sword mastery will get me more skills. I only know them from Multi Blood, and I just only just found out uh, about Multi Blood. Yeah. They're, they're, I don't know about the standing as like a company. I don't know if they do well community-wise and all that. I think they do some... I think they do do some good things regarding community stuff because they did listen to some criticisms to Type Lumina and they did implement them. So this, they're, they're doing stuff. Oh, that's a cool looking move. Oh, you can even do it in the air too? Yes. I wonder if you can like... No. Yes! You can even do launch and then do your air combo. Come on. Oh. I'm trying to do my air combo but it's not letting me. Oh. Whoa, what is that move? Is that DP input? What's that? What was that? I want to know what that move was. Or was it just like... Oh! There you go. So there's a... no? Okay, I don't think there's any other... I think that wasn't really a special move, I guess. Ah, Jiangshi's. Oh! Uh oh! Oh, come on. Oh, this is hard. No! There you go. Oh! They're doing so much- Oh my god, they comboed me. Oh no. Oh, that's cool. Oh no. Okay, kill them. That's hard. If they use up a bunch of. They used up one of my lives and then I took a lot of damage there. Oh. Ooh, yeah. The sound effects are even the same from the original game as well. Not that, um... Not that they were hard to find, because I believe the sound effects were just like in a folder in the base game. <laughs> like, it wasn't like encrypted at all. So yeah, I imagine it was easy to use the original sound effects of the MMO. And all of the... Like, although these enemies appear in the MMO, it's... Oh, what? Ah. Oh, I parried that? Did I... Did I parry that or? I don't know. 
Okay, you can't hit these. Okay, although the these enemies appear in the online game, they had they obviously redrew these sprites for and they being French bed for this game in order to make it work as a beat em up. Because Yeah. Oh What? I don't understand this enemy. Oh okay. That's cool. That's not cool. <laughs> I like that a lot. Oh I'm out of sp and S uh I'm out of SP though. Oh come on. Man, this enemy's annoying. I wonder what a no damage run of this looks like. Maybe they just like buffed up their stats though, so maybe it's not quite. Uh, it wouldn't be that impressive, maybe. Oh! Oh, I dodged? I missed. The enemy missed me somehow. Yeah, for these blue skeletons, I'm much better off using this move again and again. Yeah, I'm definitely watching the combo music video <laughs> for this uh, after my session here. There you go. Oh, you're still alive. Oh. So what happens if I just... Okay, so there's no parry, it's just me blocking. Oh! Ah! Do these skeletons get affected by the rocks falling? No, they don't. That's not fair. Oh, it seems like there's like a dash... You can dash cancel with your guards. I wonder if that's something. Oh, yes. Look at this combo potential. Oh, I got hit. Alright, come on. Yeah, I guess the one criticism I have of this is that the stages are already a bit too long. Uh, escape? Oh, this is how that's gonna work? Okay, don't use that. Just use a... Uh... Oh! Oh my god. Oh! That was tough. I mean, they've been able to mix up what I'm doing in the gameplay so far, surprisingly. And this is just like a simple 2D beat-em-up. It's very rare for a game of this genre to be able to mix up. Oh! To mix up uh, what you do in the, in the, in the game engine. Because most people, whenever they play a beat em up, it's always just, Oh, I just want to beat up the monster. That's, that's it. But here they're mixing up, oh, you beat up the monster, but then also... Do, do some special stuff in the game engine as well. And there's a lot of... There's a lot of different monsters as well, so that's also helping the game a lot too. If this game had like very... A very small amount of monsters, then... I wouldn't like it as much, I think. So far there's been like a different monster every uh, stage. Oh god, I don't think I want to get stabbed by that. I think it's a Tonberry situation here. Okay. 
Oh. Oh, come on. Probably should level up my bash because I, I like to move a lot. But I want to figure out what the other moves are. Oops, that was a waste. Get out! Get out of there! I don't even care. Oh my god, there was... This section was a lot longer than the cutscene made it out to be. Alright. Is it time to kill you? Are you the final boss? Oh! I love that move. It's like a helm splitter from uh, Devil May Cry. Oh, I don't have any more meter. Right. Ah, oh, this. I wish you could cancel into block easily. Oh my god, I blocked, but it, I think it just went through. Maybe I have to perfectly time that. I blocked, but... Oh, it didn't... Oh! This guy does so much damage! Do I have to mash? Oh god, I don't know what was that. Oh my god, I let go of block, but I don't know if it would have done anything. She had so much HP. That's not enough to level up, is it? Ah, oh, damn. Yeah. I wonder if the way to get more XP is to grind the stage one. <laughs> and yeah, I I wonder if that's like a strat you do. EX stage one. We can do this one at least. It does say it's two star difficulty. Oh, I remember the sewer area in the Oh. Maybe I'm mixing up my MMOs here, but there was a sewer area in... Um, what the heck? In Maple Story, yeah. That's what I was thinking of. There you go. I don't know if there was a sewer area in Ragnarok though. Oh my god. You know a beat em up is the best feeling ever when there's so much hit stop and a lot just audio sound effects like stacking on top of each other. That's how you know you're doing a lot of damage. Yes! Oh, oh, come on. <laughs> I'm trying to combo you guys. Just get launched already. Come on. Give me that. Eat a whole pumpkin in no time. Oh, 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 that's cool. Okay, 
yep, yep, okay, yes. I love that. Okay. So I lost a life because I didn't know any better and tried to attack the grubs before they spawned cockroaches. Oh, I remember the cockroaches too, actually, from the MMO. Like, I'm remembering all of this is just like... I'm slowly starting to remember what was in the MMO just by playing this game. Okay. I guess it's like uh, one of the highest praises a fan, a fan game can get. Like it you can tell it's like really faithful to the source material, but it's also very different. Oh god. Why am I feeling hungry all of a sudden? Ugh. I'm gonna get some food after this stage, I think. And yeah, have, an, have a bit of an ugly break. Because I'm really hungry. Oh god! Oh yeah! Oh, come on. <laughs> the sound effects. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing good stuff. Such a shame too, because the music seems like it's good. It's just the sound effects kind of ruining it. I mean, this, okay, the sound effects isn't the problem by itself, it's more like how they stack on top of each other being the problem. Okay. I can't believe they even replicated the sitting animation, the sitting sprite for the original game as well. Nice level of attention, nice attention to detail there. Oh, I died. Oh my god, okay. Oh, you can't cancel your... Oh man, these... Those guys are tough. If only uh, Swordsman... Uh, Swordsman's launch had worked the way it looks like it should have. Any level ups? Oh, I did! Nice! So we're gonna put some stats in. More strength, as usual. Oh, more bash. I think more bash is good. Uh, I'm gonna get something to eat real quick. Be right back. I just realized how starving I was.
I'm back. <clears throat> but I got some food to eat. Uh, so I got myself some beans and stir fried beans and um, beef. Beef slices. And eating that with rice. And I put. Not only have I put soy sauce over it, but I put balsamic vinegar. It's a very interesting combination. But I like it a lot. I like balsamic vinegar. And I've been trying to figure out uses for balsamic vinegar other than dumplings. And it's it's worked surprisingly well surprisingly well for the stir fry. So the music uh, the combo videos I've been thinking for Ragnarok Battle Offline. I can't seem to find it. Uh, I'll show like I'll show this. Unmuted. Oh my god, the cat jam's there. I'm gonna remove the cat jam. What's what's the, what's the hot cut? Uh, hockey. There you go. Hot cut. I was thinking of shortcut and hockey at the same time. And yeah, this is a video made in thirteen years ago. So the quality. That's as that's as good as you're gonna get it, unfortunately. But that's how you know that this is a genuine video. So yeah, you can do some crazy stuff like look at this acolyte. Look at that combo. And bear in mind, this is not even, this is not even the, the combo video I was thinking of. Like there's an even more crazy one than this. That's well edited as well. Look at this. Just bouncing all over the place. I used to make honey balsamic glazed Brussels sprouts. Oh, wow. That sounds delicious, actually. I I like Brussels sprouts, but only when they're roasted, if you know what I mean. I don't like... I've tried them boiled and I didn't really like them, but roasted is like, they're really good. I guess that's mainly because I dump a lot of oil on them. I guess that's why. Uh, while I... Hold on. I want to play some... Uh, I want to see if there's like a translated manual of uh, Ragnarok Battle Offline. You pan fry mine? I think that would work too, actually. Yeah. Pan frying would be good too. Just as long as there's a bit of char. To the Brussels sprouts, I like it a lot. If there's no char, I kind of don't like it. Mm. No, I don't know what you are. No, are you serious? Okay, fine. Ah, damn. Okay. Doesn't it look like there's a transit, um, Let's go to the... Where's the game? Yeah. Is there like a translated manual? That's what I've been trying to... Find.
No, I don't think they've translated the menu, unfortunately. It would have been nice. It would have been real nice, but they didn't. I guess I have to rely on Google Translate. Ugh, excuse me. Let's see if I can play some of this game while I'm eating. I don't think I can, but... Let's do stage three. I'm gonna try and beat it. Huh. Commentaries. I probably won't be saying a whole lot because I do want to finish my food. I I can't understate how hungry I seem to, I seem to be before the break. Like I got. Like, I desperately needed food for some reason. It was, it was so weird. Oh well. Boom. It's kind of nice that there are RPG mechanics to this, but I almost wish that they didn't include it in a way. I'd rather like play this as like a simple beat em up, uh, combo heavy beat em up, really. And I think that would have been fun to, to play. Ah, oh, I tried to. No. Oh man, these guys are serious. Did I just get lucky and dodge an attack I wasn't meant to? Oh wait, how did I do that move? I don't understand how that move was done. When bash hits B. We re-enter to make stun bash. Oh, I don't have enough SP. I'm just trying to go up on the move list right now. I just want to know how I made that weird rising attack. Oh yeah, there's a way to pause the game. I just have to remember, do not press escape when you want to pause. Because in an old Japanese version like this, escape means you instantly quit the game. Oh, I'm supposed to be dodging this.
There you go. That's the combo. That's a high damage combo right there. It says I can do a special move when I uh, when the bash hits, but I'm not getting it. Maybe it's something you have to unlock. But yeah, when it comes to food, I really gotta figure out uses for balsamic vinegar. Just not, not a common ingredient I use a lot, other than for like dipping sauces. And I'm sure it will be like, like the ingredient itself is like really delicious as well, so I've gotta figure out uses. So far, just as like a simple, a simple seasoning sauce for uh, for my stir fry, it's just like it's good enough, surprisingly. Even though I don't feel like it should be. Oh yeah, this. Oh. There you go, easy. Wow, I thought it was going to get hit. This might be a game I decide to play on my own time as well because of the the way you can increase your stats and quite heavily. There's like an RPG mechanic to it and like the, the gameplay loop is like fun on its own. Like I'm playing like the simplest character in the game I think. But it's still a lot of fun and all the other characters have like wild combos that they can do. Ah. Oh my god, really? I knew it was like a Tonberry situation. Whatever. I don't I didn't need that life anyway. I didn't need that extra man. Oh yeah, this is the one where the spikes come out of the ground. Ooh.
Oh, come on. Oh my god. Oh my god, this combo. That's pretty scary. Oh, it's final boss. At least I've reached it with one life remaining. Oh my god, that was a wild miss. At least I got him. Okay, you cannot block that. What's the point of even having a guard button if you can't block that? Be careful not to get gonged by these guys. Ah, I just did. Okay. No, I that was a waste. Are you serious? That is so much damage. That was close. How do you do that? Oh, that was close. I was one hit away from death too. Wonder if there's diagonal attacks I should be keeping track of. Give me that level, yes. Doesn't seem like this game wants to give you multiple levels at once. Which is a very interesting choice. More strength. Uh, well, maybe not more strength. More vitality. Magnum break. I think. You get one invoke, one in magnum break. Because apparently, according to the manual, provoking enemies reduces their defense. Which could be nice. Uh, yeah, this one. I don't know who that is. Maybe if you play the game, you'd find the MMO, you'd find out, but I don't know. So 72. I just want to see if. Okay. 76. 83. Huh. Oh, it is a diagonal attack. Look at that. That's I'm holding diagonal right. So is that how you launch people up? Oh, it is. It is how you launch people up. Okay, okay, I'm starting to actually understand how female swordsman works. <laughs> Excuse me.
Oh yeah, I have Magnum Break, don't I? Oh, that's cool. I like that move a lot. Oh. <laughs> okay, now we're now we're doing some cool stuff. It is a little bit of a shame that I stuck behind levels. That does suck. I would much prefer that. Like if if you still gonna lock this behind levels and have it so that it's easy to get levels, easy to get like ability levels but not uh, skill points. If you want to keep that balance. Can do magnum break in the air. No, you can't. Oh my god. Ah. Why do they want me to break this washing pole? <laughs> okay. She doesn't get launched by that. Oh, that's okay. Oh, I blocked the kiss. <laughs> oh, come on. She does so much damage. Is it just to basically offset the fact that she has heavy telegraphs. Damn, that miss sucked. Ugh. I guess I could just gotta ev evade her this time. Oh, come on. That does so much damage. Oh. I'm being beat up by this orc lady. Oh. Oh, that was close. Oh man, Ugh. I, I was trying to like use my bash attack but it didn't come out because I didn't have enough SP. Oh, uh, now she's dead. Great. After I lost two lives. Yes, I love how cool that looks. Oops. Huh. As if that hit them from down there, like... The hitbox didn't seem like it reached that far downwards. Oh, hello! Welcome to the stream, Golden Yogador or Yogador. How are you doing? Yes, Baguette Gaming. We're playing a game made by French Bread after all. So we gotta have, we gotta have that on the overlay. I can't do the combo. Would they ever make the multi blood schmuck? Well, anything's possible <laughs> nowadays. Oh, oh, nice block. How do you do those combos with those eye attack? Unless I'm, yeah. How the heck?
I don't know if uh, the company is like really focused on Type Lumina, so I don't know if they will make even any game. Never mind the shmup. It seems like they're very focused on uh, Type Lumina. Okay. I love those sound effects. Oh yeah, that's cool. Getting comboed. I love getting comboed too. Ah, oh, luck of shield. What? How did that hit me? Oh, that's not worth it at all. Come on! Oh, whoops. Oh. How do you do the... Some years ago, they posted a joking collage of sprites of M back on something that looks like a shmup for April Fools. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I did not understand the joke at all then. I did not know that at all. Yeah, I, look, I may, I know something about French bed, but not. I don't know that much. Like I, I actually got into multi blood much, a bit late, comparatively speaking. Like sometime. Two years ago, maybe. I kind of knew about multi blood back then, but I didn't really play too much. I knew more about Unist and um, this game, honestly. So it, it's surprising that I know more about this game than I do multi blood because multi blood is the more popular franchise. But yeah, uh, I would not mind. An M back shmup at all, I'd play it. <laughs> I'd play any shmup, really. As long as it's good, I guess. That, that. I guess that's the only condition I'll have if I play a shmup. It has to be good. Okay, that was easy. And I'm sure French bread could, French bread could possibly make a sh good shmup. Possibly. It does take a different skill set though. Would, um, would French bread be able to make a good shmup? I guess that's the, that's the big question for today. Judging from the past games that they've developed. I don't know. I certainly didn't expect rising or eighting. The the commonly known as eighting right now to be making fighting games. Uh, back then, I don't think anybody would have expected rising to turn into that. They did a beat him up. Yeah, that's true. That's true. They just. I am playing that beat him up right now. Oh God. Oh. Yes. Oh my god, Magnum Break has invuln frames? Oh. Man, the music's jamming. Oh, Bloody Roar was developed by 18 and Hudson Soft, so before they change into Oh no, I mean like... Okay, did, when did they have the name? When were they acquired by 18? I guess that's a bigger question. Oh! I was looking into some shmups of PS2. Oh, I might die. Into some shmups of PS2. Fame of mine said they'd be down to try a vertical shmup. Oh god. I should've jump cancelled. Man, this game's hard. 
18 the distribution from ah that makes sense then then what do i know huh i don't know that much as for shmups on ps2 i'm not sure i haven't really played the ps2 that much to begin with and i'd know about shmups on the ps2 even less have what is like a beat em up is you can make it very fighting game based like right now i'm playing it like it's a, almost like a fighting game because the combo system's like very cancel heavy very chain heavy here um what other games has what other genres has french bread delved into i wonder Wait a second, I didn't want to go back there. Oh god, I pressed escape. Please auto save. That's what I get for pressing escape in the Japanese dojin. That's a bit of an oxymoron, isn't it? Japanese dojin. A 2004 dojin, I should say. I think Raiden 3 was the one we both liked the look of. Hmm. I remember I it, I liked Raiden 1 and 2 a long time ago, but it's been a while since I've played them. I'm not sure about Raiden 3. They're out there since the DOS days, so okay. So they would have delved into many genres. Yeah, so... <laughs> yeah, when's the French bread shmup coming out? I want to play that. I would love to. Oh god. Oh! Well, these cockroaches are so annoying. Oh my god, they're doing so much damage! Okay, that was not a good start. I should kill them. Oh! No, come on. Oh yeah, this, this is the part where I shouldn't just run in and try to kill them immediately. Coming, WWW. Is... I... Just remind me again, W, when you see a lot of W spam like that, that means like, that's like the Japanese internet slang for laughing out loud, right? I think that's, I think that's it. It's been a while since I've seen that particular phrase, I think. Oh god, oh, this cockroach. Okay. I figured since I'm getting an arcade shmup, uh, an arcade stick, sorry, we'd be perfect to try out some shmups again. Okay. If you feel like that adds to your experience for your shmup playing, then that's good. Personally, I don't like to play shmups with an arcade stick. I, I do generally just prefer a regular controller. But if you think you enjoy the shmup more with an uh, arcade stick, then go for it. I enjoy fighting games. Oh god, that's loud! Holy crap, that's loud! Okay, how are some of these cockroaches even alive anyway? From that kind of attack. Oh! Oh! 
I wonder if um does I wonder if French Bread does their own publishing nowadays. Like did Multi Blood type Lumina have to be funded by uh like a big company at all? Or was that completely fine on their front? Oh god, these these boxing glo these boxing insects are so good. Oh man, okay. Okay. Oh, come on. There you go. Abuse the invon frames. Fair enough. It's more of a way to justify buying more PS2 games that I normally wouldn't get. Okay, okay. Oh. No! Oh my god, that did so much damage. I hate how it's hard to tell which attacks you can block and which you can't. They have pog money? Oh yeah, I guess they do nowadays. I think Type Lumina was a pretty decent hit. So... And of course, people are still buying uh, Unist, or Uniclear more specifically. Oh! Oh god, this... Oh god, oh god. Yeah, there you go, there you go. Just abuse the iframes. Oh god, he's gonna attack. I'm scared. Oh! 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 I can't believe I managed to evade that. Difficult. I, I'm trying to explore everything the PS2 has to offer, and I can't do that by staying away from genres that uh, I'm not even particularly averse to. Okay. The Tyler Memories collection can be a good gateway for some shmups. I don't even know what that is. I, again, Taito is not a shmup company I'm that well versed in. I'm not well versed in a lot of shmup companies to begin with, so it's just that title specifically I have even less knowledge of. Okay, this game's hard. Let's go to stage four and see if I can beat it. It's it should be I should be able to beat it because the only challenging part was the orc lady, and I kind of just ignored its tells. Oh, uh, you know, okay, so far away the chat is like a small, when I'm reading the chat, it's like a really small text, a really small font. So when I read when they they have FGO money, and I think I read it the first time too, I, th I read it as they have POG money. <laughs> Instead of reading it as FGO money. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, they do have POG money as a result of FGO, so it's not entirely wrong. Have uh, Tyler Legends has that fair, really fair. I think he means like F A E F A R E. But yeah, that, that should be like any shmup should be like fine. Oh, oh yeah, I have Provoke. I forgot about that. I just remember... I just can't remember which of them have G Darius. Is that the one with... Uh, I'm gonna have to remind me on this one because I don't know that many... Um, 
I don't remember all the Darius names, but G Darius is the one where you capture enemies, right? Ah. I, I do have a few PS2 PS2 arcade compilations, so I should take a look through them. There's the Don Pachi Diorjo. Uh, Death Label for the PS2. Yeah, I recommend those games. Oops. Wait, let's uh, pay attention a little bit more. Yes, the capture ball. Oh, yeah, okay. I remember the mechanics more than uh, the first polygonal Darius, because I, I don't know. That's just how my memory works. Is, he, is she gonna attack? Yeah. Oh! The G Darius is really difficult. I found it when I played it at locals. Just as like, wow. Are you serious? This feels like there needs to be some sort of roll uh, mechanic here. Because you can just like wake up and then instantly get hit from that and there's nothing you could have done. I found G there is very difficult. Oh my god. Really? Um the reason why I found it difficult is because of the way there's no there's not really that many survival mechanics if I recall correctly because you have to capture an enemy in order to use like a bomb effect I think I think it involved like charging the attack while you have a captured enemy and then you could get like a bomb like effect and I just remember that being tough to manage when it comes when it comes to survival because you have to like know that there is an enemy you could capture nice. it's a routing heavy game ah yeah yeah and also yeah exactly there's like was it a charge beam that you sh shot out i think it was a beam like attack yeah yeah it's like and then when you kill enemies with the beam, you get like tons more score whenever you kill the wave with it. Yeah, that's right. But you'll have to manage that and also like being sure that you actually survive as well. Sounds cool, but maybe a little bit above my pay grade. I think, look, there's... It's very rare for you to find any shmup at all where you can beat it as a you can beat a one CC of it like pretty early. I mean there's Grey's counter, but even then that can be tough for non shmup players. As long as you do go into the mindset for any shmup where you don't worry too much about dying a lot, then you're gonna have fun with any shmup. Because you just. I hate to like try and force a mindset, but yeah, when it comes to these arcade shmups, it's like you have to accept a lot of failure no matter what kind of game it is. Whether it's G Darius or like whatever. PS2 shmups are for big boys only. Yeah, yeah, the Donpachi Dai Ojo is an interesting recommendation because that game is kind of nuts as well. He's talking about the physical media price, I guess. Oh, if you're talking about uh, physical prices, then yeah. Oh! Yeah. These games, these PS2 games would be very expensive. I think Diorjo is only, it's only available on PS2 and Xbox, right? It's not available even on emulation. Oh! God damn. Oh, don't attack, don't attack.
There you go. Oh god, oh! I haven't played this map for more than a few minutes in for probably about a decade. Yeah, that, um, oh. Is Hella available on emulation? I, Die or Draw is the... Oh, I'm thinking of Sai... Oh, sorry. I'm thinking of Sai Die or Draw. Oh, crap. That's right. That one requires a bit more setup than just like getting a ROM. And you can't even... It's not even available on PC or any modern consoles either. It's available via like... An, a Japanese only arcade board. Something weird. Oh, I died. Side Eye Ojo got also got dumped a while ago. Oh yeah, I guess it... Yeah. It was old news I've heard that that game didn't even get ROM dumped. I guess nowadays it would be different. But when I looked on May, I can Okay, yeah, I don't know. It needs some setup unless you want to play Turbo Speed. Yeah, I... I recall that I got Side Diorgio working on my main, but I I was kind of it was kind of weird to me that it wasn't even available as a part of the list as part of the ROM list on the main or main UI whatever. It was a bit weird. I was actually talking about mechanics this time. Haven't checked the price yet. I think that, yeah, G the Darius games are pretty fun. I don't know what else is on PS2, so I can't really give... I can't really help you for shmup recommendations there. Oh yeah, this. Okay. Oh god! Why are they all just like... I want them to be all grouped up together. Radius 5. Can't go wrong with the Gradius. Oh, excuse me. Unless you can. Is there, is there a way for a, a Gradius game to go wrong? They're very classic shmups for a reason. R-Type Final. I haven't played any of the R-Type games, really. I want to try them out at least once. I've heard that they're very difficult, um, but I don't know if that's actually true or like... Yeah, I don't know. Oh! And ESP Galuda. Ah, I've heard about ESP Galuda from Pitchy. Apparently it shares a lot of like similar mechanics to ESP right there. Which I've played and I've I've had decent fun with that game. Oh crap. Oh I don't have bang and break. I don't have enough SP.
Oh man, this guy is just beating me up. I can't think of original PS2 shmups or notable ports outside of that. Hmm. In the PS2 era, definitely shmups were definitely like a uh, not as well regarded. Wasn't as well known. I don't, I'm not sure what the correct phrase here, but not as popular. So if you're looking specifically for shmups on PS2 or even Xbox, you're probably gonna have a hard time. I don't even really know what like what would be the games you would even want to play for like on the PS2 even? Like what is on the PS2? Kingdom Hearts? Everyone knows what Kingdom Hearts is. Oh my god! Oh. Okay, I thought... Okay. Oh my god, that did so much damage. Oh, I used the wrong move. I wanted to use Magnum Break for the inborn frames. There you go. Okay. Provoke. It didn't work. Man, that bash in the air does so much damage. I'm just gonna learn how to use it. Oh, oh man. Damn, I missed the first hit. Oh, okay. You can miss the first hit if you try to do that properly, so nah. If you try to, like, double jump and then bash. What? What? Man. Oh, um. PS1 got Ray Crisis. Uh, Iron Hander. Oh, I haven't tried that Iron Hander yet. That's the square shmup, right? I want to try that one. Star Wars Battlefront GTA, multiple Dragon Ball games, the first games in many ongoing series. Yeah, I guess I could only think of Kingdom Hearts. If you're looking for a game to try out, actually, I do recommend this. I've only played through the first stage of this particular game. Um, but you might be interested in this. I'm just going to get it up. It's a weird concept for a game and it's on PlayStation 2. And I don't think many people have heard of this one. Mm, yeah. This is a game called Chain Dive, which is a Japanese only game. There's a bunch of cool action games too. I think DMC2. DMC2 is on uh uh PlayStation 2, yeah. I actually heard of that game past this past week, yeah. This is pretty cool. I played through the first stage and it was kinda not great in terms of emulation, but I had a lot of fun of, with it. Gungrave, Shinobi, Zone of the Enders, haven't even played any of that. Dragon Ball, I played like one. Oh yeah, Odin Sphere? Final Fantasy? What, like Final Fantasy 12? Oh no, Final Fantasy 10 as well. Yeah, yeah. I guess that was on PlayStation 2. I just know a lot of Square slash Square Enix games on the PlayStation 2 more, more than any other title.
It's a pretty cool concept. It's where you... I don't know why... He's just like skipping all over the place. But the concept is you hit, you hit enemies with your sword and then you use your grappling hook to smash into them. So it's a unique concept. And the grapple hook is kind of nonsense physics. It's pretty nonsense. Not based in any reality. Not even uh, Batman. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. So take a look at that game. That game might be fun. I want to get another copy of Zone of the Enders. I actually had a copy back in the day. Ah, okay. Yay, I leveled up. Now this stage will be much easier. Hopefully. Let's go some vitality. Oh, should I get... Let's boost up some intelligence. And get some... Does intelligence increase my SP recovery? I don't know if it does. Endure. Does, what does the menu say about that? Doesn't say anything. I think I want more bash damage. Oh, well, more vogue stuff would be nice. Fatal blow. Yeah, it's fine. Racing games. I know racing games even less. Not that's like for for racing games with me. It doesn't even have to be PS2 games that I don't know about. Just any racing game that's not made by Nint Nintendo. Best part series such as God of War, Ratchet of Clans, Sly Cooper, Twisted Metal. Yeah, I've never heard of those. I mean, I, okay, no, I have heard of them more recently, but like, yeah, definitely uh, not back in the PS2 era. The Ibarra games. Ooh, Ibarra. Uh... Why does that sound so familiar? Is that the is that the cave game that's made by the Battle Garega dev? And Cave just wanted the guy to make another Battle Garega and he said, yes, I'll make one. And that's what that is. I think that's it. I think Pitchy told me about it earlier as well. And it seemed pretty cool. <laughs> For like a game that's similar to Battle Garega. The Yagawa game, yeah, yeah. There you go. Oh! Yeah, I'd, if uh, Battle Garega is anything to go by, I would recommend Ibarra as well. Because Battle Garega is a lot of fun. Oh, when you use Provoke. It lets you have access to other moves. Is that what's happening? There you go. Damage. Where's my... Oh, I don't have enough SP. I was like, I'm trying to get my Provoke out, but it didn't come out. There has to be some easy way to... Oh, 
Ah, uh, I wish there was some sort of roll cancel or something to get you out of danger quickly. Oh my god. I don't want to die. Really? Uh. Does this work on her? I don't think it does. Provoke doesn't seem like it works on bosses. Wow. Okay, that's my fault. Oh, I'm dumb. I'm starting to think that leveling up that uh, provoke was a bad idea. If it doesn't work on bosses, what's the point of provoke? I wonder. Looking through my PS2 games, I found Tidal Legends, Capcom Classics Collection, and Midway Arcade Treasures for PS2 arcade compilations. What's in the Capcom Classics Collection? Oh, like very classic. Like, I, I bet there's like Captain Commando. And, um,. Maybe even like old Capcom beat em ups as well. I mean, Captain Commander is an old arcade beat em up, but like even more beat em ups in that collection. Capcom released a few shmups, didn't they? Uh, I have yet to try them out. I think. I remember when I have a, uh, uh, what do I, what's it called? Uh, Darius Bursts. I have that game on Steam. Um, there's a few Capcom shooters I haven't even heard of before. Or at least they had... I, I, and then when I looked it up, it wasn't exactly that Capcom made them. It was more like, um, they, they're the ones who published the game and then a smaller company like Rising made them. Something like that. But I recall there was like a, a Capcom shmup. I just don't know if... I don't know if it's real. They did a partnership with a bunch of shmup studios for the CPS2. Ah, oh, that explains it. That does explain it quite a lot. Mars Matrix. Ah, oh, yeah. I, I have yet to try out Mars Matrix and Giga Ring, and I probably should at some point because. Apparently those games come highly recommended. Probably gotta learn some sort of air combo.
The Vogue doesn't even work. Is it like a random chance to work? There you go, one stab. In the Psycho Games 2. Oh, s what kind of, uh, what Psycho Games did Capcom help publish for the CPS 2? Because I know, I thought I knew, I, I don't know. Maybe I didn't know that much about the Psycho's library. Oh, I don't have enough meter. really bad at identifying whether I have enough meter or not. It is way up there in the top left corner so it is hard to see. Giga Wing 2 is also on PS2. Okay. I'm like nearly dead. I guess the only psycho games that I am aware of or have played are like uh, Gunbird 1 and 2, Strikers 1945, Dragon Blaze, Samurai Aces, uh, Gunbird 1 and 2, Strikers, and some other stuff that doesn't come to mind right now. Oh! So you're saying they, they were developed on the Spears 2 as well? Ah, oh, I did not know that. I thought it was just uh, their own arcade board or whatever. I, I don't know, maybe, maybe their own arcade board is actually a bit too much now that I say it out loud. Oh god, oh god, I'm really dead. Nineteen forty-three, Bionic Commando. Oh yeah, those Ghosts and Goblins, Legendary Wings, uh, Street Fighter, of course, Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Oh yeah, I forgot. I always forget that Ghouls and Goblins, or whatever it's called, Ghosts and Goblins, is an arcade title, and that everything else was a arcade port, or well, sort of. I don't know if NES really qualifies as an arcade port. But they tried. Okay. So yeah, the the psycho games I also named are on the CPS too. I didn't even know. I didn't even know that. Oh. Oh man. Oh, I don't have enough meter. There you go. That's all I wanted. I can't believe I've been able to survive with this much HP. So it says that HP recovery only applies when you stand still. Oh, it says the HP recovery improvement will also recover HP when you're moving. Hmm. 
also found some fighting games. Yeah, I've mentioned the uh, Fate Unlimited code as well. Uh, that, yeah, that's a pretty. It's a. I hear that's a good fighting game made by Eighting. So I, I could easily recommend that. I guess. I even though I've not played it myself, I've just seen other people play it. Oh my god. I'm gonna die to these arrows. There's also Marvel vs. Capcom 2 on PS2, maybe? I'm not sure of that, though. As, as well as CBS 2, Capcom vs. SNK 2. I do not recommend King of Fighters uh, Maximum Impact, by the way. Those games are bad. At least the second one I played for a brief moment. I do not recommend that. There you go. That's King of Fighters Maximum Impact 2. Stay away from that particular spin-off series. Oh god, that sucked. That sucked to die there. Get out of there. I do recommend King of Fires 98 and 2002 UM. Yeah, I recommend those games as well. Even though those games are technically the old versions and there's later versions now nowadays. For PS2 fighters, I think you can't go wrong. I do recommend Third Strike and Fist of the North Star. Is, um... Do you know if, uh... Oh, that was close. If Third Strike Online Edition was also on PS2? I don't remember if it was. Okay, as long as I take on 100 damage, that's fine. Ooh, parry that! Oh my god, okay, I'm not dead. God damn it, I was stuck in so much hit stop and the guy kept moving while I was in hit stop. That's unbelievable. Uh oh, online edition was PS3, right, okay. Bloody Raw, Neo Geo, Battle Coliseum, I don't You could play that. I don't think there is I don't think that game is bad. Uh not as bad as maximum impact, so I think that's fine. The can tag tournament, yeah. I think you'd be. You, I I feel like with Tekken being such a legacy fighting game, you'd be good with any Tekken game, and the skills will carry over to future Tekken games. I'm going to be taking a break. Uh. Because this boss is hard, and I've been stuck on this guy for a bit, so yeah, definitely time to take a break. Uh. Be right back.
Okay, I'm back. <sighs> the only ones you've played are uh, Soul Calibur, Mortal Kombat, and Tekken. Those are like, those are very well known fighting games. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Personally, I've never even played Mortal Kombat, so you're already ahead of me there. You have Bloody Roar on the PS1, so I may have actually played Bloody Roar 2. You I mean? Okay. How are you not alive? How are you not dead, I mean? How are you not alive? Oops. Oh, I was so close to air comboing him to death. Okay. I want to try my best to actually defeat, beat the stage. Hopefully that was like the fastest way I could have uh... Oh yeah, it was pretty fast, new record. Oops, that's a waste. Oh, there's one more enemy. I think I might stick some of these in my PS2's internal, play some fire arcade games with when my arcade stick comes. Oh! Oh! Do you have like any particular game that you... Like... Do you have like a reasoning behind putting games in the internal hard drive or do you just do it just because uh I, I don't know like is there any reason reasoning to it at all any logic Oh Oh come on that is so stupid. That was dumb. Huh. I assume when you mean you put uh, games into your PS2's internal hard drive, you mean like you don't need, you don't require the disc to play the games, right? I could be, I could be wrong there, but that's how I'm understanding it. Fast a lot of times just wear on the disk drive optics and disk. Okay. I don't know how that comboed. Okay. Yeah. Oh that sounds like it's really good. So it seems like that's something you you want to put every game into your hard drive at that point. I guess 
at that point it would be like a space issue. Come on. Okay. You rip the game, put it on the PS2 drive, and pay off of that. Yeah. Space is the exact issue. Okay, I see. I'm going to need to get a bigger drive here soon. Is it. You need to get like a proprietary drive from Sony or something or whatever? Or can you just use any old regular hard drive? Can it even be an SSD? That'd be cool if it, it could be an SSD for no reason. I guess it wouldn't be no reason. But I'm wondering how far you can take PS2 modification. bash a lot so I feel like I should be upgrading bash more than anything else no proprietary drive I use IDE drives I look mounted my to accept SATA drives okay nice does that mean SSD uh, drives could work that'd be cool if it could The kiss doesn't do nearly as much damage, so that's fine getting hit by that. Oh, you get hit by that still, right. That was it. That was dumb. You can use an SSD, but the only route reason to use one is longevity since there's no moving parts okay so you don't get like faster load times be just because you're using an ssd i guess all right i mean yeah that's that sounds fine oh my god that was I hate this boss so much oh. you're gonna make a boss be like this why do you make it why do you make it so she has so much HP to deal with? PS2 are hard when bonus to transfer speed of the SSD. But yeah, that would make sense. <laughs> of course, they would do that. Oh well. Boom. Oh, everyone already died there. Oh, that combo. Oh. Oh. That was cool. That was a cool combo. Oh. About how big are PS2 games, like, like, by the way? Are they like, like gigabytes or what? I don't know. What's the average size of a PS2 game? I guess I could check in my folder right now, considering I do have an emulator, a 
I do have an emulator to like test out to see if my PC can PS2 emulate, which it can't. Oh my god. There you go. Same reason you not recommend games. Uh, oh, I play games on the US. Like, games are on the USB. You don't want to play those games because the transfer speeds on those are actually really bad. Okay. Of USB 1.1 at least. Yeah. That makes sense to me. Oh there you go. Uh, it's just yeah, this part is not hard at all. It's just the boss will I guess the main problem is that this game is very punishing when you miss when you don't dodge an attack. That was actually very clean. Dun, 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 dun. careful around him. I'm gonna save the SP. Like the life doesn't actually matter here. Me losing life here. Because the boss does so much damage anyway that uh, life is not as important as my SP in terms of survivability. Oh man. Some are less than one gigabyte and some are small enough to fit on CDs. Some games are so big they couldn't fit on standard DVDs and they were sold on dual layer DVD 9 discs. Oh, really? Okay. Oops, didn't mean to do that. No, you don't. Involve frame that. Oh, okay, that's fine. 200 damage is nothing. Okay, sure. Might need to focus here a little. Does rope work on bosses? It kind of seems like it does. I am doing more damage. Oops. Ah, that was a waste. That's fine. 200 damage is nothing. What? Oh, it's, oh, it's the specific orc type that does multi-hits like that. That's fine. that
Oh my god, that is so stupid. That's actually so stupid. Oh. Hmm. I I don't know what I was doing. I was like waiting for an attack from him, but he didn't. I don't know. He didn't do what exactly what I wanted him to do. Nice. That's a lot of damage. I don't care. Fine. Oh crap, that was bad. He's gonna jump, he's gonna jump. And then shield. I okay, you can't block that. Oh I did it! Oh my god. Why do they have a block button if it doesn't do anything? The only time a person wants to use a block button is for bosses and specifically against bosses it doesn't work. If you're up against a normal enemy, players wouldn't normally want to block because they get hit stunned. So a regular player is just going to keep attacking. Whatever. PS2 games with the blue bottom are the CD games. Oh, I, they had the blue bottom? Really? DVD 9 games have two barcodes on the inside ring of the underside of the disc. I remember that more than the blue bottom part. Huh. I didn't know that. Okay, so let's see. Uh, I don't know what Fatal Blow does. I'll get one point in it. And Bash has been really helpful, so I'll upgrade that. Okay. Stage 5. Oh, the manual says normal attacks other than light attacks will gradually weaken if you do the same thing over and over again. Oh. So they do have like some sort of combo scaling kind of. It's not really like combo scaling, it's more like uh, it's kind of more like smash where they weaken the, weaken the effectiveness of your moves the more you use it in a row. Oh what the heck? Oh there you go! That's, that's the bash move I was looking for. Oh come on. Apparently I also have more of a golden tint, but I haven't noticed that one myself. That's a really cool move. Does it cost more? I think it costs more. It, yeah, it costs 10 SP more to use the second hit. Okay. Now I know. One of the benefits of having my PS2 games on the internet is PS2. Internal PS2 driver, I don't need to bring my PS2 or games anyway, that way it has a fat PS2. Oh, you can just bring the drive, huh? But then you have to know that your 
wherever you're bringing it to that has a fat, fat PS2 specifically. Which I mean, if you're just bringing it to your, like, your friend's house or whatever, that probably isn't really much of an issue because you know they have a, a compatible PS2. Maybe I should block against these uh, an enemies. That was the wrong move to use on them. Okay. Just bring the drive and network adapter and the free MC boot memory card. Oh. I wonder if any of this music is actually remixed from the MMO. I wonder. It's been so long since I played the MMO or really even listened to the music. So it's uh, it's gonna be hard for me to identify whether something's from the MMO or not. Oh, I rest was it 10 SP. So just save bash. Okay. Oh, I try to block that. Attack me now. Yes, you are. Oh, okay, fine. I don't know what he was going to do. Oh, damn. Fine. That's fine. Oh, man, my bash is doing so much damage. I just gotta land it. God, that was stupid. There you go. Man, that was tough. I already lost a life to this guy. Oh, you mentioned Fate Unlimited Code. Fen and I actually tried it out and it's interesting enough. I pick up a copy, but I'm not quite sure. Okay. Like there's, from what I recall, a lot of, when I saw it being played, there's like a lot of crazy stuff to it. And uh, like, it's almost stuff that you have to like find in training mode. So in terms of like a one-off play, I don't know. I don't know if it'll be that much fun. But if you enjoyed the time with it, then I guess that's good enough. I remember when I first played it, it was kind of tough to keep everything in track, but then, but then that just, that's just what happens for any fighting game you play for the first time. There you go. It's fine. Uh. 
Ah. Ah. This game is hard. Like I, you really have to pay attention to what you're doing in, in a beat em up. Usually, well, okay, I'm not gonna say like usually in beat em ups, but in in a lot of the beat em ups I play, it's just like. Attack the enemy before you get hit, and that usually is how that works in most beat em ups, I think. But here it's kind of tending you to do the opposite of that. Like, you want to be careful first and then attack. We've only played a couple of rounds, so we've not seen much of how much it offers at all. Yeah, that's fine. And also, bear in mind, with my first playthrough, um, it's a little bit, uh, oh god, I did so much. God. Phew. Bear in mind that when I played, uh, Fate Unlimited, when I played Fate Unlimited Co for the first time, I had somebody else who knew the game a lot more than I obviously did and yeah, he, he knew the game quite a bit. So I had someone like that telling me what what kind of crazy stuff there is in the game. So yeah, very uh... It's that like I'd recommend Fate Unlimited Co but it's like you kind of do have to like read up on what you're what you can and can't do. It's like one of those fighting games. Oh god, that- what? There you go. Did this guy die? No, he's probably dead. He's looking for a res. What? Oh, they explode. Like, am I supposed to be able to block them? Or what? what's going on? I don't know what's going on here. We don't know anyone like that, we'd be figuring it out as we go and we're more lucky to look online for help than any of the people I'd be playing with, yeah. So yeah, it's gonna be tough for you to find like how, what makes this game more unique than the other fighting games for sure. Oh, what? Okay, that, well, getting hit by that is fine. Oh my god, that is so much. What? What's he doing? I don't know what that was about. I did it! Yay! That was that was kind of weird. Okay. One of the friends knows a character, so that's a look for them. Oh yeah, they are based on fake characters after all. So 
What does that guy just say? Oh, damn, I can't go back. I'm not supposed to disclose my master. Do not notice my shaking. <laughs> oh, these bot messages are actually perfect. Very bot-like. The other one wants to play multiplayer games, so it might be easier to get... to try different things. So yeah, fair enough. Oh, come on. Oh no, oh my god, there's so much. Okay. Is this the boss already? I say already, but it's already been a bit. What is that? Okay, wait. What's he doing? Really intense music for this thing. What's he doing? Oh! He's doing something! Oh! What?! As if I- Okay, there's no way I could have known that was gonna happen. Ah, oh, waste. Oh! Oh, man, no! Oh! Oh, God! Get out of there! Oh! Oh! This is one scary boss! Oh, get out of there! Oh! Oh, get out of there! Oh. oh, he's doing something. I could tell he was going to do something. Oh god, get out of there! Oh, oh, I'm dead. I'm dead, aren't I? Okay, no, I'm not. Oh gosh! What's he doing? What is that? I don't think I want to be anywhere near that. He's coming closer though. Okay, good. No. Nope. What? Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, what's that? What's he doing? Oh my god, I can't believe I managed to parry that. In the last second. Oh, stop? Okay, so that's stop. Got it. Don't be anywhere near him when he does that. Oh! Oh, thank god. Block does... Block is actually working. That's crazy. Oh, crap! Okay, that's fine. That's gonna still hit me. I can't believe it still hit me! <sighs> oh! That was a sick parry! I just have to realize that he changes uh, his face basically. Okay, parry that. He's gonna stop. Okay. Oh god, what's he doing? Oh no! How is he still. Yes! Oh my god, that was sick.
That was I was on my last life too. Player left. I got nothing. Got nothing for a player left. Whew. Okay. Why do I want to improve you? Uh, more strength. I want to see if intelligence affects um, SP regeneration. That'd be nice. Um, let me check if that's all the moves Swordsman has. Seems like it. Yeah, seems like it. Uh, bash. I mean, we kind of have to. And, well, more HP recovery would be nice. Okay, I'm gonna go for one more stage, I think, and then I'm gonna head off. I'm gonna try my best to not die here. I want, I'm not gonna, like... Uh... I'm not going to purposely try to lose this, just to end the stream quicker. Oh gosh, okay. Man, the music has been banging so far. Okay, there you go. Oh, what? How are you still alive? Whew. Oh, what? what? I don't even know what's happening over there. I don't care. Oh my god, there's still enemies there. Oh, that was a sick parry. Oh, come on. Man, this attack is just unfair for the mushrooms. Their hit stop. One mushroom that bounced over here. Okay. <sighs> I wonder if Sound Temp would have agreed to make music for this game. I don't know. Sound Temp, Sound Temp's a band who is responsible for the music behind Ragnarok Online and uh, Tree of Savior. And I highly recommend people go listen to those soundtracks because those, the soundtrack for those games is really good. And it's all thanks to Sound Temp. Uh, only composing music for Korean MMOs, it seems like. That was a waste. Oh well. Oh, nice anti-air. <laughs> I didn't even mean to anti-air that mushroom, but I did it. Yeah, now that I'm like figuring out the game a lot more, I'm not having as bad of a time as I once was at the beginning of the game. doing 
Oh, you can hit them. Okay. If you can hit them, then that's fine. Oh god! Okay, that's fine. That does no damage at all. That's fine. I use up all my SP to try and kill this guy, but he's still alive. Ah, oh, that was a huge miss. At least I got one there. Whew. That was easy. I had to use up all my SP though. I'm getting some massive uh, deja vu from this one stage. Oh, it must be because of these spiders. Oh my god. Oh, come on. I guess I have to mash out. Yeah, the enemy variety in this game is really good. <laughs> haven't There hasn't been any like... Okay, no, there has been palette swap enemies here and there. Like the slimes. And the mushrooms, but so far every enemy has been. Most of the enemies have been pretty unique. They really put a lot of effort into this game. For a game that most people probably wouldn't, haven't even heard of and will never hear of. Guess they wouldn't have known at the time. Oh, there's still enemies here. Oh, the ghost. The ghost actually landed a hit on me. a waste of SP there. I didn't mean to use that bash. Okay. Uh, I'm stuck, okay. <laughs> it's funny that I was like stuck in hits up for quite a lot, for quite a long time, just because enemies were falling on top of me. Oh. Yeah, really, the Magnum Break is pretty good and I don't even need to level it up, honestly. It doesn't need any more levels. Get up. Get over here. Right. Break. Okay. Uh, that's way in the air, though. There's only one. There's two attacks I have that can reach. Okay, there's two.
Come on. Oh, I can use bash. I forgot. Oh, I use it. I use bash at the moment I killed the enemy. That that's cool. I should have realized sooner that I can use bash. Oh, okay, sure. I should not have used Bash or oh, whatever. The light attacks never work against the ghosts. Are they just like a bit too high up? minute stage and it's gonna be 10 minutes is that the final boss the boss isn't the boss music isn't playing so i guess it's not oh i tried to Block that. Oh, okay. Why does that just do 900 damage? Well, now I know that attack I have to be careful of. idea if that provoke even does anything. That was a bit of a mistake, whatever. Yo, is that RBO? Welcome to the stream, Sierra. And yes, it is indeed RBO. I'm having a lot of fun in the game so far. It's it's as fun as I remember it being. Really fun uh, game. I just saw this game a few days ago. Yeah, kind of me too in the same way because I was thinking of like MMOs in a way. And then I, my mind naturally drifted over to Ragnarok Online. And then whenever I think about Ragnarok Online, I think of... Ragnarok Battle Offline, the much better game. The awesome Desert Stage music and the Doppelganger. I haven't reached a Doppelganger fight. I don't know if... It'll probably happen much later, but I don't think I've reached that point yet. Oh! Yeah, I played this a long time ago when I was a kid and yeah, I was very much big into Ragnarok as a franchise even, as a series. Like I watched the anime, I played the MMO, I played this game, even though this game isn't made by the same devs as Ragnarok Online. Never played the MMO, didn't get into it. Yeah, that's, that's fair. <laughs> it is a Korean MMO where it's very grind heavy. So that's absolutely fair. I did love the, those animations by Chicken14 though. I don't know what you mean by that. I don't know who Chicken14 is though. But... Uh, in terms... I, I, I don't know why I'm saying but. I think it's something a bit different. But like, the music in Ragnarok Online is also really good as well. Like, everything but the game is pretty good. <laughs> the visuals are good, the sprite work's pretty good. Um, 
The music's really good. But the game part is just not good. Oh, it's not, it's not that it's not good, it's just very grind heavy. I think the most known video was ranking up battle animation. Oh, I've never seen those before then. Oh! Oh! Oh, come on. I'm getting beat by one ghost. There you go. Oh, what? How is he not dead? Yeah, I've never seen those videos actually. I guess I gotta check them out then. Yeah, I I was big into Ragnarok, the series in general, back then. Not nowadays, it's almost not not at all. It's mainly a nostalgia thing at this point. Oh god, okay, that does that. Okay, that does that. You can- Oh, you can't be behind it in the boss. I wonder if that's blockable. Oh, you can't block that. Can I link it here? Yeah, yeah, you can. By the way, this is uh, my last attempt. Uh, so... Okay, you can block that. Because I gotta be heading off soon. Oh, oh! This is the stage with the doppelganger. Do you think this isn't even the final boss? Oh my god! What is that damage? I might not even reach a doppelganger at this point. Oh, I killed him. So what I could do is just sit here and wait for my HP to recover. Alright, I'm gonna watch this video. I'm not gonna watch it on stream, um, but I just wanna check it out. <laughs> ah. Wait. I've seen this before. Wait, I I've seen this before. Yeah. I think I've seen it mainly as GIFs though, on like forum posts. I've never seen like a whole video of it. Yeah, now this is... yeah. I remember this. This is really cool. I wonder if these animations are done by somebody who actually worked on the Ragnarok online game as well or these are just this is just a fan project no clue yeah I think it's fan I think it's likely to be a fan yeah really cool if it is a fan, then that, that's doubly impressive that they were able to get the style of the original sprite work of Ragnarok Online and made it work in an anime- in like, more flowing animation. So this is pretty cool. Okay, have I recovered enough HP yet? Yeah, I have.
I might lose this. Uh, that's not my doppelganger. That's just... That's... That's a male swordsman. That's not me. No, you don't. Oh, gosh! What? There's no way I could have... Dodge that the first time. Yeah, that was easy though. Oh! Oh! Okay. Oh my god! There's, there's no way you can beat that guy the first try. Oh, well, um, it's possible, but it's really difficult. It's like... I'm trying to think, like, uh... What I want to say. That stage was really long as well. Like, it was over... It was over 10 minutes long for that one stage. And that's like, pure playing the game. Like, there's no... There's not really any filler as well, unless you count the the enemies in the middle as filler. But like, that's my point where that stage was way too long, and it like I reached that boss at like the 14 minute mark, I think. So it's gonna be tough to even learn what that guy does to beat him. It's a hard stage. Yeah, it seems like it. Of course, you could always grind because this is an RPG after all. That could work. Alright, I think that's it for today. Uh, sorry that I wasn't able to demonstrate all the other characters, but for me to do that, I'd have to like... Actually spend some time on what the other... I had to spend some time leveling up the other characters to unlock their abilities and all that. So... That would take too much time. I remember locking female archer. I remember when I played this, I played male swordsman because I was really basic at the time. But yeah, really fun game. All right, so tomorrow I'm going to be playing Troubleshooter again, just having another session of that. Um, and then Monday I'm going to play some Hangeki, which is another shmup, an, an indie shmup. So that should be fun. I'm pretty tired right now, so I'm, I'm about ready to head off. Right. Thank you guys for watching and uh, hopefully I'll see you later. Bye-bye.